My name is Roosevelt Montas. I am class of 1995. I'm Robin Burgess, CC 2010. I'm from PG, Maryland. My name is Sarah Chai. Uh, I'm a senior and I'm from Orange County, California. I'm Bruno Esquin. I'm from Lima, Peru, and I'm a senior in CC. My name is Matt Harold. I graduated in CC 2010 and I'm originally from Maryland. My name is Aki Tarasaki. I'm a CC 2012 and I'm from Newark, Delaware. I'm Kira Tarana Barry. I'm class of 1987 from Columbia College and um, I'm currently president of the Columbia College Alumni Association. My name is Amira Sequeira. I'm CC 2012 and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'm Jerry Sherwin, uh, class of 1955, Columbia College. My name is Emily Tampkin. I'm a senior in the college and I'm from Long Island. My name is James Bogner. My class year is 2010 and I'm originally from Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Jake Gorin, CC12 from Los Angeles, California. And I'm Stephanie Foster, CC12, Kansas City, Missouri. Giving to the Columbia College Senior Fund is important because as current students, we've profited greatly from the donations of Columbia students of the past. And now it's our turn as a class to give to future Columbia students. My Columbia moment happened first day of Lit Hum, first semester freshman year. We had to go around and say something about ourselves. And I vividly remember this girl saying that she was arrested for political protest in Pakistan. And I still remember thinking about how different her story was from whatever I was going to share. Just thinking, my God, there are all these people with this, just such different experiences, and we're all going to be discussing these same books for the rest of the year, and then you can expand that across the entire college. And I remember thinking, this is gonna be great. And I was right. It was right after September 11th, 2001. My Lilham class from the previous year contacted me, and we went and had dinner at Symposium that Friday night. And it exemplified for me what Lilham does, the kind of community it creates, not only an intellectual community, but a, a community of affection. In October of freshman year, I was sitting in the Milstein Library uh, in Butler, and a girl from my Lilham class I was looking for a place to sit in Butler and asked if she could share my alcove. We ended up bonding that day over these books from the 1700s and 1800s in Milstein. And bonding over these really old books led to um, a day of, of talking. We did no studying. And uh, that day she became my best friend. And three and a half years later, she's still one of my best friends. Before coming to Columbia, I didn't know much of what was out there in the world and in that one event I was able to see so many different people and it just really inspired me moving forward to go to every single event that I could on campus, go to the different multicultural organizations, throw other events where people could come and just participate or just sit on my floor and talk to people and have food with people and, and find out where they came from. And when I was walking around uh, with a tour group and playing you know the same generic uh, name, hometown, predicted major questions. Um, I was really wondering if Columbia was the right school for me. Um, and then I met um, a girl who's become one of my best friends today, Nidhi Habar. She's a vegetable-loving uh, hip-hop dancer from Florida. She had the sweetest smile and uh, the brightest laugh. Um, and it was then that I realized what being a Colombian um, could really be for me. At some point in the middle of CC, during my sophomore year, when it was just an aha moment, when everything really fell into place and I felt that there, I had a context for what I was learning, what I had learned uh, through high school and my first few years at, at Columbia, and as I realized now what was to come, I, it sort of gave me a, both a sort of cultural reference and a, a place to put all of the information that I was learning, and it was a, it was a very exciting moment for me. My Columbia moment would be contemporary civilization uh, sitting in a corner classroom of Hamilton Hall. I tend to recall the snowy days in the winter time. There was something about the warmth of the room and the lighting, uh, the hardiness of our conversation that really contrasted the weather and the rest of the world. It marked that experience and all Columbia experiences as just exceptional. And it just so happened about right around Thanksgiving I was home and decided to pick up a few interviews and I had a wonderful interview. I, I interviewed this great kid from, from my hometown and he really, I think, he reminded me a lot of myself. Um, he really reminded me what is amazing about this place and that this place is such a, that kind of excitement and that, that kind of passion that Columbia students have. Finals during freshman year, not the finals itself, but I remember my floor mates dragged me out for a snowball fight 
um, and I just remember being like so stressed out because it was my first round of finals, but um, we all went out with like dining trays from Hewitt and footballs and we were all bundled up in our scarves and mittens and I remember it being one of the most memorable nights of my life. And I feel that Colombia gave me like a home away from home and that is why I would like to give back to like, the Colombia community. The first class I took was the core, one of the core classes taught by uh, Lionel Trilling and we had an all-star faculty at the time and I, when I sat in one of those hard wooden chairs I knew that Columbia was the right place uh, for me and throughout the years I started uh, being involved in various things and as I graduated, after I graduated, um, I felt I had to give back. My Columbia moment is why I give. I give for my Columbia moment. 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 And I give for my Columbia moment. I give for my Columbia moment so everybody can have a Columbia moment. What's your Columbia moment? Class of 2012, what is your Columbia moment? Class of 2012, raise your class. <laughs>